Uh, how beautiful was that? Uh, okay, here we go. We've got some uh, stormy weather wrapping up, and then we're going into a dry pattern again, going all the way back to August 4th, uh, well over a week uh, ago. Very active pattern set up. A lot of this activity has happened during the overnight early morning hours. We fell and stayed into that period all the way through this past weekend where we had multiple rounds of storms overnight and early in the morning hours. We've even had a few lingering showers during the afternoon, Saturday and Sunday, which was fine because uh, again, the added cloud cover helped keep temperatures down and it was plenty humid across the entire uh, portions of area of five country. All right, the brunt of this activity is shifting off towards the east. Cold front just out to the northwest of us. Drier, more comfortable, cooler air mass is on the backside. Lower humidity coming for a couple of days. Again, temperatures about 10 degrees below average coming for a couple of uh, days, so that's going to be nice. Again, a very stormy setup for us overnight. Had a few strong storms uh, blast in out of Oklahoma and into northwest Arkansas. This area saw the brunt of it. Uh, that has shifted off towards the east. Few lingering stragglers here and some spring and far northwestern portions of uh, Bitten County there. So we need a break, especially across Bitten County where we had the flood warning until 4 a.m. That's expired as again the heavy rain moved out of the area. We should see uh, better conditions moving in. Uh, a few lingering sprinkles around Clarksville. Got a few isolated downpours in the Boston Mountains and then back towards Coal Hill there in southwestern Johnson County. A few hit or miss uh, downpours in central Madison County to the south of Huntsville. Again, this is just through Friday evening when we had one thunderstorm push through Washington. Washington County, Fayetteville, that was a severe storm down into the River Valley. And then we had Saturday morning and Sunday morning. And then this morning, Southern Missouri, Northwest Arkansas saw a lot of rainfall, at least three to six inches felt. There are some locally higher amounts mixed in some of these spots. We need a drier forecast to come in. That's exactly what we're getting. Again, we'll linger with an isolated shower chance, 10, 20% chance through mid morning. And then we're looking quieter from there. We'll look for clearing skies from Northwest to Southeast. Again, comfortable day topping out in the 80s with lower humidity moving in this evening is going to feel fantastic. The next few days are going to feel uh, amazing across the area. Lower 80s northwest Arkansas, mid 80s overall across the River Valley, a few upper 80s mixed in. Again, even a north breeze pumping in this cooler air about 5 to 15 miles per hour. That'll feel great. Look at the drier conditions allowing us to cool off more overnight. 50s and 60s for lows tomorrow morning. That's going to feel great. This cooler, less humid air mass is in place for your two. Tuesday, your Wednesday, we're talking upper 70s to lower 80s for a couple of days. Then we start to warm through the mid and upper 90s for northwest Arkansas, easily jumping into the upper 90s uh, for the River Valley by the weekend. But again, the next couple of days is going to feel fantastic for everybody. Again, 80s for a few days, not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad.